So hiking out in the woodland and I've just come across um, this. It's a fungi that grows on hardwood trees, most predominantly, predominantly ash trees, and it's called Daumina, uh, sorry, Daudina concentrica. Um, I'll just pull this one off here. You can also call them uh, King Alfred's cake. <sighs> um, and as you can see, it looks a lot like a fun, um, a lot like charcoal. And if you see in there, that's what we want to get to. So I'm going to take a couple of these and I'll show you how you can start a fire with them. So I've taken a couple of them. Um, they're very wet, very damp, because it has been raining pretty much relentlessly for about a week. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put them in my pocket um, and then hopefully by the end of the day, my body heat would have warmed, warmed it up and dried it out. Hopefully. Um, if that is the case, then I'll uh, be showing you how to start a fire with them. Okay, so it's been in my pocket for about two hours. It's still quite damp, but we'll see what we can do with it. If you look down kind of where it's based and where it connects to the tree, like there, you see you've basically got like what you'd have on a tree with the rings. And uh, that's what you want to try and get your spark on. An easier way to do this is just get a knife, your striker, or whatever it is you've got, another, a sharp bit of wood. Just drill a bit of a hole in it. Like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and rain some sparks down into it using the first rod. It's quite damp, so we'll see if we can get this going. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to blow on it just so you can see. So you've got that smolder. Now that was just a little spark that's caught that. It is quite damp so it might go out. However, when these are dry, that's a good way just to keep kind of your fire going. Get that spark, put it off to the side or put it somewhere non-flammable. And that'll just burn like that for a very, very long time. But what I want to do is I want to now make this into a fire. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some dry ferns, put them together and then you want to create almost like a bird's nest. I don't know what bird would live in that but there you go. Kind of imprint the centre and then you're going to put your Dome uh, Daldina concentrica or King Alfred's cake inside there because this is quite a big bit and I might fail. I'm just going to break a couple of clumps of this off. Put that out. Make sure you put it out or otherwise it will just keep burning and then you're just going to lose your piece. But the reason I've done that is just in case I fail, I've got more to try, um, more to practice with if I fail. But we've got the ember. It's burning quite well. I'm now going to wrap this up. Now when doing this, if you've got like wind, you want the wind behind you and that will help assist with oxygenating this and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to blow gently like so like I said it's quite damp but I'm, I think it should work what I'm going to do is it's long very long blows long gentle blows don't start <laughs> like that that's not going to work you're just going to spit on it it's going to go out but let's see if we can do this. Just to give you some idea. It's quite damp, so it's taken a while, but I think it's getting there.
and then you get your fire, put it down on the ground, put your killing over it, and then it's done. And another good thing about this, you saw I used the ferris rod. Um, if you're ever going to be doing fire by friction, like using a bull drill method, then um, these things are the best thing to put that ember in. Yeah, so you do your fire, uh, you do your fire bull. That's what you do your bull drill. Get the ember, stick it inside there, uh, and these things are amazing. And just do exactly what you've just seen. I'm Dandy H from Survival Elements, and I hope you enjoyed this video.